Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Biostar Hi-Fi H170 S3H Micro ATX Skylake motherboard. This board is great for mid-range budget builds. Here's what comes in the box. You get a user manual and motherboard guides are generally good to keep on hand. These are instructions on how to make use of this motherboard's Hi-Fi feature via Smart Ear Utility. Included is a driver CD and you can install Smart Ear Utility using this disc. You also get two SATA 6 gigabit per second cables. It looks like both are straight plugs. And here's the rear IO shield. Let's start off with a look at the PCB. I don't know if I'm blind or not, but it looks brownish blackish to me. Either one is fine as muted PCB colors are definitely more desired. This is a micro ATX form factor board measuring 244 millimeters by 222 millimeters. As for the look of the board, it's very clean, like a black suit. Although when the PCB hits the light, it does flash a subtle brown. There's an aluminum heatsink over the VRM, and this motherboard has a 7-phase power design with an ISL PWM controller. You get alloy chokes and solid caps. The H170 chipset is also cooled with aluminum and stamped with the Biostar logo. This board comes with one 4-pin CPU fan connector and one 4-pin system fan connector. Here's the LGA1151 CPU socket, which should be compatible with the current Skylake lineup. As you can see, there are four DIMM slots with support for up to 32 gigs memory. And you get dual channel memory with support for DDR3L up to 1600 MHz. Each DIMM slot accepts non-ECC up to 8 gigs. Beneath the CPU socket is the M.2 KM connector with support for up to 32 gigabit per second speeds. And below that are the PCIe slots. The top PCIe 3.0 X16 slot uses the CPU PCIe controller and runs an X16 mode. The bottom PCIe 3.0 X16 slot uses an X4 PCIe lane configuration from the H170 chipset and runs an X4 mode. The H170 chipset features a total of 22 high-speed I.O. lanes, which are all utilized. Between the X16 slots are two PCIe 3.0 X1 slots. To the right of these X1 slots is the CMOS battery. You will find the clear CMOS jumper beneath the bottom X16 slot. Let's take a walk around the edges of this motherboard. Starting at the top edge is the 8-pin CPU power connector. And here's a closer look at the CPU Fan 1 connector. On the right edge is the 24-pin main power connector. Below that are the 3rd gen SATA 1 and SATA 2 connectors. This grouping here also makes up the SATA Express connector with support for up to 16 gigabit per second speeds. You'll find an additional 2 SATA 6 gigabit per second connectors on the bottom edge of the board. There's support for RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, and AHCI. Above the SATA 3 connector is the UEFI chip. This chip is removable. This is handy because if there are any issues while flashing or updating your UEFI, you can swap it out. This process is much more difficult when the chip is soldered to the board. To the left of the SATA connectors is the front panel connector. Directly above that is the chassis speaker header. And next to that is the TPM connector. Also on the bottom edge are two USB 3.0 connectors as well as two USB 2.0 connectors. Here's a closer look at the System Fan 1 header. This is the serial port connector. And on the far left is the front panel audio connector. You'll notice a line separating the audio section of this motherboard. It reduces electromagnetic interference, and Biostar also boosted the Audio ALC887 codec via four high-quality capacitors. The built-in Hi-Fi amp can drive high-end headphones with over 100 decibel loads. Last but not least is a look at the rear I.O. These are PS2 ports for a mouse and keyboard. And this is a dual-link DVI-D connector with a max res of 1920x1200 at 60Hz. Next to that are a couple HDMI 1.4a ports. One of them is vertical, which is new to me, and you get a max res of 4096 by 2160 at 24 hertz. Also, the HDMI and DVI-D ports only work with an Intel integrated graphics processor. To the right of the HDMI ports are four USB 3.0 ports. Here's the RTL 8111H Gigabit Ethernet LAN port. SmartSpeed LAN is a free software that monitors and manages your network traffic. You also get Super LAN surge protection for anti-static and electrical surge protection. Beneath the LAN port are two USB 2.0 ports. And here are the audio ports. There's support for 7.1 channel HD audio. In addition to the rear audio ports, you'll need to use the front green headphone audio port in order to achieve 7.1 channel audio. That wraps up this look at the Biostar Hi-Fi H170 S3H Micro ATX Skylake motherboard. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to follow me on my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess all that's left to say is bye! Bye.